if they do know it, they'll say furniture, but there's so much more to it. Showing you there's so much more is what Tucson filmmaker Herb Stratford hopes to do. I've done a few short films before this, but this is the first time that um, I have directed a feature length documentary, which is a much heavier lift. Stratford and his crew, based right here in the Old Pueblo, spent four years working on this project. We were sort of surprised that uh, there had never been a film about Gustav Stickley, and I think it was just one of these strange things where somebody who is such an iconic figure has somehow slipped through the cracks. But not anymore. When you make a documentary, you think you know where you're going, but the story really takes you where you need to go. And so there were definitely some some uh, some twists and turns. One of them was COVID-19. Really the only big kind of um, really big challenge was just dealing with COVID because our plan had been to release a film last spring. And so we had to wait a, a year until things were sort of uh, calming down. The wait is finally over and starting this Friday through virtual cinema, the documentary is showing in about 22 different states, including here in Southern Arizona. The Loft Cinema has picked up the film, so that's a way for a local theater to uh, to be supporting us and for and for our audience to support uh, The Loft, which does a great job with showing independent films like our film. Stratford hopes the film reaches fans of the American furniture icon and maybe even creates some new fans. Also, it opens the door to a lot of new people who may have heard the name but don't know the story. And so this kind of like starts them on that journey of finding out more about Stickley and the, and the movement and, and the, the artworks and everything of the American Arts and Crafts movement. The documentary took the crew to about 12 different locations across the country, from Florida to Michigan, carrying with it a special Tucson connection. And so even though it's not a Tucson story, it feels very Tucson because of the fact that we all are, we all live here, all of us who made this film. Yeah, the documentary is being shown at the Loft Cinema starting tomorrow. We do have a link for more information on kega9.com.